Hello, welcome to PSU Connect Media and you are watching today's top news. New Space India Limited partners with Tata Play to commission GSAT24. New Space India Limited has collaborated with Tata Play and launched GSAT24 satellite in June 2022, aligned to make an India vision of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. Tata Play commenced the use of this satellite now in its orbital position. The inauguration ceremony was held at Tata Play's Broadcast Centre in New Delhi. On the occasion, Information and Broadcasting Secretary Sri Apoorva Chandra expressed his happiness and said congratulations to Department of Space and Tata Play for successfully commissioned GSAT 24. ONGC climbs 32 places in Fortune Global 500 rankings 2023. Energy Maharatna Oil & Natural Gas Corporation ONGC has moved up an impressive 32 places to claim the 158th spot in the 2023 edition of the prestigious Fortune Global 500 rankings. It has secured the 190th position in the coveted list in 2022. During the period under review, Fortune considered ONGC revenue of USD 78,746 million up from USD 65,962 million last year, an impressive growth of 41.6%. BHEL signs MOU with Green Start Hydrogen. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited and Green Stat Hydrogen India Private Limited have signed an MOU for potential collaboration opportunities in green hydrogen and derivatives in the hydrogen value chain. This MOU will help in contributing towards the country's national hydrogen mission aimed at making India Atmanirbhar Bharat in this area. Powering India's future through rapid infra transformation, said R.K. Singh. Union Minister of Power and New Renewable Energy Shri R. K. Singh in a recent press conference held in New Delhi briefed the media on infrastructure progress in sectors such as power, new and renewable energy, roads and highways, rural connectivity, railways, civil aviation, shipping, ports and waterways, and telecom. The event attended by esteemed secretaries and senior officials from relevant ministries shed light on India's dynamic journey towards an innovative and interconnected future. EIL's own startup initiative Pursuant to Government of India's flagship, Startup India initiative EIL launched its own startup initiative named ENGSUI in 2017 based on the pillars of simplification of processes, funding support, industry academia partnership and incubation. ENGSUI is a focused effort to provide new and enhanced solution in energy and other related areas. Indian Oil Chairman SM Vedya granted one-year extension recognizing exceptional leadership. In a recent announcement that has sent ripples through the Indian oil and gas industry, Indian Oil Corporation Limited Chairman Srikant Madhav SM Vedya has been granted a rare extension of one year in his tenure. The move is seen as a testament to Vedya's leadership skill and an endorsement of his strategic vision for the company. The official order mentioned the appointment committee of cabinet has approved the proposal of the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas for re-employment on contract basis of Sri Sri Kant Madhav Vedya, Chairman of Indian Oil Corporation Limited, for a period of one year beyond the date of his superannuation. 8.51% increase in coal production till June 2023. The focus of the government is in on increasing the domestic production of coal and to eliminate non-essential import of the coal in the country. In the year 2022-23, coal production increased by 14.77% over the previous year. During the current year till June 2023, domestic coal production has increased over 8.51% compared to the same period of last year. Public sector OMCs sold E20 fuel in more than 1,900 retail outlets. Public sector oil marketing companies start selling E20 petrol from 6th February 2023 and E20 fuel is currently sold at more than 1,900 retail outlets across the country. 
Minister of State in the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Sri Ramesh Teli said this in a written reply in the Rajya Sabha. The detailed report on the roadmap for ethanol blending in India 2020 to 2025 provides guidance to achieve the target of 20% ethanol blending in India by 2025 to 26. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down. Thank you. Thank you.